This clip is brought to you by VegasWinners.com. Get expert sports betting advice from some of the best handicappers in the world. Head on over to VegasWinners.com and win yourself some money. Well, Dominic, you are in an extremely unique situation when you think about it from a pressure uh, standpoint. And no one has really faced the pressure that you have. And I mean it from two perspectives. First, the son of Ray Mysterio. That comes with its own set of pressures, right? Having to be on the big stage and, and wrestle behind a, a legend. But also, you started wrestling during a pandemic on TV with no audience. And then all of a sudden... You're now wrestling in front of thousands of people. And so that brings on its own set of challenges. But you have lived up to the hype in both regards, not only following in the footsteps of your dad and and showing that you can do it all in the ring from what we've seen as fans. And I've seen nothing but love and support and respect on social and online for what you've been able to accomplish. But then you were able to easily transition out of that virtual world, the Thunderdome, right into wrestling lat and just made it all look look easy. Can you talk about a little bit about those different pressures that you've had to face and what it's been like kind of coming through that? Yeah, well, thank thank you for for the kind words. I appreciate it. Um, but honestly, it's uh it was kind of weird because um I was so used to like working around the cameras and like the in the Thunderdome. So um and everyone, everyone was telling me that it's a different vibe. It's a different feeling when the crowd comes, but I had only known one adrenaline feeling. And that was just, I was going, I, I was pumped up either way to be out there. Um, and, but once those fans hit, um, I believe we were at the Toyota center in Houston yep. and, you know, we, we kicked off the show. It was, I, you know, I teamed with my dad and edge against Roman and Uso. So like, that that's surreal in and of its own. So I was, I was just excited, man. It, it it's 110% a different feeling and a different vibe out there with the crowd. And I, I love it. Um, he had, he had gotten a little taste of that. Um, Super way serious. back. No, actually Lucha underground. Yeah. Uh -huh. And Lucha underground. That was his first like little, um, angle, uh, being a teenager at that point. And, uh, then after that survivor series, with uh brock. with brock it was actually a smackdown the smackdown when he dragged you out of the that was raw oh that was raw yeah. i'm sorry when he was dragged out of the of the front row and uh he was yeah. given a whooping by brock and <laughs> yes, then of course <laughs> yeah man, what an ass kicking up wow oh my god dom <laughs> you're a tough son of a bitch <laughs> <laughs> and, and then of course survivor series when we did the double six one nine for the first time so he kind of had that uh that kind of vibe to feed off of yeah. yeah and then of course until toyota center came by and now the attention was strictly on him when he stepped in the ring mm. so it was hey hey it's conrad thompson thanks for checking out the podcast here on youtube be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now if you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt it's not a matter of if i can save you money it's a matter of how much Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.